We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Hey guys, we are marking up USD, RUB. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on the monthly time frame. Let's take a look at what's going on near price. So price, we have our last active candle, a bullish candle. This candle look like it's engulfing. It just didn't close out yet on the monthly time frame. This look like the market is going up. <clears throat> type of areas of support. Okay, so we do have price action, which is the bullish candle. Price goes up, we're looking for price to come all the way up to this high. Price goes down, we're looking for price to break this midpoint here and to come down to this low here. Okay, so if we read the market, let's identify what we see. So market came from a low, so it came from like some type of W. Okay, we got a W here, retest with this uh, set either second candle or third candle with the wicks. And then market uh, pushed up once to the high. Market pushed up twice to the high. And then we got to drop back down. So we got one push. And then we got another push. But it's a retest and market pushed up. Well, overall, in this area here, we had a double top. Okay, after that double top, uh, we see that market came back to retest the double top. And then market pushed down once. Market pushed down twice. And that's average. Uh, pushes um, average is three market push down two which can happen but market came back to a major area which is that midpoint of the support that we see now we can see that market's working its way up so we got a decline w in there and we can see market's working its way up so let's see what's going on on a lower time frame headed down to the weekly So price action, we see price action try to return back to this area of highs from this weekly time frame. Price action coming from this low to that midpoint that we created on the earlier um, on the earlier um, chart, which is monthly. And then if we take the top and the bottom, draw a midline right through the middle, we clearly see the price is trying to break that. Uh, it currently just broke the midpoint, so we probably be looking for a break and retest if not. That market can shoot back up, but it has to come back. Eventually come back down for some type of retest or so or show some type of retest candle uh, or doji somewhere in this area okay, that's what we're looking for next um probably identify down the lower time frames we look for that market break as it currently did come back to retest looking for some type of entry to see that market's gonna work its way up and let's head down to the daily time frame on the daily uh we have the midpoint we have the midpoint here that we created from that monthly time frame. We created another midpoint from the weekly time frame. We got the highs overall. We can clearly see that market in that incline for that W. So let's read the market. We do have that first leg. We do have that second, third, fourth, multiple retests in this area here. So market retest one, retest two. We got a, another double bottom here. So when we go down the lower time frame, we'll see a W here. First, second, third, fourth market broke out, retest with this doji, and the market broke the midpoint and came back to retest. So we do see the retest can do currently on the daily time frame. So this is a indecisive candle, so there's no trade. We have to wait to see if we see the market is gonna engulf this area here that's gonna push that market up, or it's gonna engulf on the downside to push that market down. So if not, that market just be consolidating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna that market a nice little tight consolidation at that high of that doji wick and we're going to grab that low of that doji wick we're going to head down the time frame to see what's going on in the market headed down to the four so we do see that consolidation so that doji did equal up to consolidation as we currently see we're still waiting for that market to break out to the top side of breaking out to the bottom side and currently with price uh, we can see the price last price candle is 
uh, inverted hammer. It would definitely look like it's, it's engulfing. So this is not a guaranteed market show that's marked on a push up. We may have to wait for the second and third one for that push up. But so far, this is a 50 50 chance candle. Why? Because the last active candle, which is a inverted um, hammer, we do have the body that's engulfed the previous body of that baby uh, doji, which is that body of that doji. And also, the wick is above the wick, so there's a chance that market could show up. You may see um, identification of lower time frame as well. What we're going to do is we're going to take a another horizontal line and put it right through here to see if we're going to get that break and retest for the market to shoot up while we're walking down the time frame. Headed down to the three. Now we see the market did permanently break. We see that retest uh, candle and market actually went right back into that consolidation. So nothing happened. Uh, market's consolidating, headed back to the one. Now we still now we can see that retest again. Um, and the market broke way back into it. But if you look at price action currently here, some type of doji that's forming. If you look below this area here, you see that W that's forming first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. Market pitched up once, retest. So, you know, market didn't break. It's seriously sitting at a, the highest high area still to see if it's trying to break. So it's consolidating at that high. Uh, from the previous area that support and same as this so these markets looking the same uh, i think two one forty five thirty headed down to the 15 50 identifying the same thing as well we do see that break and retest is sitting on top of that area of um the resistance but it's back to the bottom side so like we test the bottom side we get a golfing pattern that's pushing down. The market's going to go back down. We're getting coffee pattern above all these areas here. These dojis, that market's um, pushing back up. So the next candle, if it do form on the way up, you're going to be looking for a green candle. On my screen, it will be red, white. And your screen will be probably green. You see a green candle that's going to break up um, above these wicks once it closes out, showing that the market's going to break uh, further up. But so far, looking at this market, like it's going down for a downtrend. Um, on the 15, headed to the five. And we can still see that market's dropping back down for that decline. So if you look at it right here, we see that decline market. The market did a double top here, retest one, retest two, retest three, and that market dropping. So it looked like we in a uh, back in the sell. So the market, on the lower time frame, the market's selling overall time frame, market's still going up. But that doesn't mean that price action could tag this low area of this midpoint and still create some momentum off of this and come right back up. So far on the five minute time frame in the 15 minute, it's identifying that it's gonna go down maybe to the midpoint to create some momentum to come back up. Get it down to the three, and we can see that market still working its way down. Engulfing powder to the downside, showing this market is pushing down. And that's the lower time frames so though. Overall, market still pushing up for buys in the higher time frames. So you guys that trade the lower time frames, you guys can probably take this down for a sell. Highest time frame you see that market's working its way back up. Very important information, guys. Please study and review Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Click on images, go through the images, understand what's going on in the market. As we currently see, we have the market start off low here, push up to this double top, wasn't able to break this area of resistance. Market push right back down. Very important information, guys. Please review and study breakout retest strategies. What the breakout retest strategy is. You find an area of resistance or support, call us the SR line. We look for price to start at the low with this picture here. Market broke the resistance, came back to retest. Very important area for us to look for some type of pattern that's going to push that market up. Currently right here, we do see that engulfing pattern that pushed that market up after the retest and the market gone. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. U-S-D-R-U-B.